Hello everyone, hello SharePoint users. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can find on your SharePoint or OneDrive site all the documents that are older than a specific date. This might be helpful if you are working in an enterprise in a large company and your company implements data lifecycle policies. In Microsoft 365, that basically means that some documents older than, let's say, five or 10 years might be just silently deleted. Well, as a SharePoint user, you don't have access to lifecycle policies and you cannot see them. But just for your information, it could be configured under Compliance Center, Microsoft Purview, and basically that nothing else than for all or part SharePoint sites, a retention policy that retain items or delete items is implemented. If you have in your tenant retention policy that delete sites, it could be configured for five years or for 10 years, for example. What happens is any documents that is, let's say, modified earlier than five years on your site might be deleted silently. You even don't know that this document will be deleted. So you might be interested in finding out what are the documents on my SharePoint site that is older than five years. Your compliance team probably will inform you maybe in some email communications that such and such that retention policy is applied to your site. Maybe not, but it would be a good idea to discover all the documents on your SharePoint site. So here is the site I'm working on and I can see that I have some documents from 2023. I have some documents from 2024. And the idea is to use search. And search, surely you are familiar with regular search technique. Like you can find something with the keyword report or uh, design, right? But Search is actually much more powerful than that. I recommend you to go to Microsoft page called Keyword Query Language. And from here, you can find how to search through SharePoint like in more advanced way. Yeah, very good article. For example, you can search for all documents authored by a specific person or documents with a specific type and so on, so on. And it's like really powerful tool search. Specifically, you can refine your search based on documents metadata. Uh, for example, metadata last modified time. For this specific case, when you need to find out all document that might be deleted because of retention policy, I would recommend to use metadata called last modified time for retention. Let me show you. I'm copy pasting it from my blog article. And here, let me go to another folder. So I can see the document last modified September 13 and July 1st. And if I use metadata last modified time for retention, and I specify, let's say, 2023, September 15, I'll get all four documents, right? That's right. But if I specify here September 12, for example, I'll get only three documents. So this technique allows me to find on my site, if I have like really thousands of tens of thousands of files, documents on my site. So it's not feasible for me to go like and view when the site was modified. So I, I would use search and let's say you can just get today's date and minus five years would be like some date. You can calculate it and you can use this refiner, find 
documents that were modified earlier than five years ago, right? So I can do the same from home of my site. So I can find documents on, from all libraries, all folders, all subfolders. I might be not interested, so you can see that here I'm getting uh, site itself or folders, right? So I might be not interested in folders, but in pages maybe, but I'm really interested in documents. So I can use something like to find all the Microsoft Word documents. And here we are, only Microsoft Word documents. Now I can use something like to find or Microsoft Word or PowerPoint documents. It all you can find here how to use or and not in your queries. But yeah, so that's the technique. Actually, you can do the same for simplicity. Let me stick with PowerPoint documents. And let's say I got two documents last modified June 10th. If I remove this, get three documents. So there is one document modified like in 2024. What do I mean is you can use the same technique actually to search in your teams if you are working in teams. And if you use the same, but you would need to go to files here. So yeah, if you can use the same technique. Yeah, so you can see same documents here. Or you can use the same technique and maybe it's even better from your OneDrive. If you are curious, where are your documents? If you have many sites you are working on, but a few documents, a few old documents, you can use same search query here to find old documents from all your sites. And from OneDrive, you can even use Refiner by file types here. So we can see only files older than September 12th are here. Same trick you can use to find like newer sites if you need this. We've seen this earlier. Also, if you are familiar with coding technique, you can use PowerShell to do the same programmatically. So here I authenticated to Microsoft Graph and I can actually run the same query. So only PowerPoint documents, fresh ones. So there should be one document here, right? Let me run the query. Yes, I got one document. If I need all the documents, I would use something like uh, from this specific site. If I want all documents from all sites, I would run query all PowerPoint documents. I would run this query so we can see. And if I need all documents from all sites, older than September 1, I would just run this query. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I do have blog article on the same, so you can get everything from my blog article. Yeah, just search or you can find link to this blog article in the description to this video. And that's it for today. Thank you for attention. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.